Hey guys, Bill C. Mattel from the BBZ TV. I'm here with the Fish Obsessed, a good buddy of mine, Jerry Brousseau, over there in Florida. He said, Bill, I know you love the Active Target. Um, I know you're asking me, I was asking him a lot of questions like, how the heck do you keep adjusting this bracket from the Active Target from Lawrence? It makes it easy. And he said, hey, you guys got, you know, you got to check out the uh, Fish Obsessed bracket. Um, I went out and bought one. And uh, so this is all up to you, Jerry. I mean, uh, <laughs> we're going to check it out. He said it's super simple to put in. Um, I'm going to unpack it, tell you what we got in the packaging. And we're going to sit here and do a little quick exchange. This is going to help me, instead of trying to put this back in the cradle when I'm on the water, trying to unscrew a bunch of nuts and bolts over here on the transducer to either get it forward facing, down, scout mode. Um, you're going to be able to do this with this Fish Obsessed. So, got the box. I just cut the top open. And let's set, we see what we got inside. So, we've got some instructions so what we got here is we got the dominator lawrence active target trolling motor zero degree mount with the transducer bolt so that's what's coming in the package on that and then it basically has uh, instructions on how the assembly goes together it looks really simple and how you put the bolts and washers and nuts together and some more information so this looks pretty simple, so we'll put this off to the side. We've got some Fish Obsessed stickers. We'll put them right there. Okay, put them right on my trusty motor guide. And we'll get the package out of the way, and let's see what we got in here. So we have... This package is really nice with bubble wrap. We'll see how good quality this stuff is in here. And we have, we have a nice bracket, and we actually have way down here, okay, this is supposed to be the secret. Now, I um, did not have one of these little bolts with the uh, shoulders on it and the right washers and everything. So let's take a look at it. Looks pretty simple, and it looks like it's going to mount on that right there. And this is going to mount, so it's going to be offset just a little bit from my trolling motor, more than this one, but with zero degrees. So this looks pretty simple, so let's get this going. So I'm going to do this real simple, guys. Um, got an Allen wrench, and looky there, I got the right size one. I don't know which size this is. I'm going to take this apart, and let's put this together real quick. Okay, so we got that separated. So this looks like the part that the transducer is going to go on. I'm assuming that, which looks like they have the washers and everything already set up with that nut, goes through here on this bracket, and it looks like it's going to mount to the top of that uh, the transducer. So what we're going to do on this, we're going to pull this little bolt out with all these washers. I'm going to make sure everything stays in place. So this is very nice. So they already have the shoulder bolt set up with the washers already pre-done in the packaging from Fish Obsessed, which is very cool and classy. So that's done. I'm assuming that goes right in to this, so now you have some type of compression and rotation, so you can move the transducer back and forth. So let's go and put that down just for a second. And I want to keep this super simple, so I don't want to mess with this too much. So I want to make sure my transducer is in the same position. Um, my temperature gauge is up here; it's facing forward. The Lawrence is all facing forward. So this is, I know, is working perfect. So I'm going to unscrew my bolt here, my locking nut. Okay. That's off of my unit. And what I want to do is I want to keep this simple. And I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm going to take my Allen wrench. And I'm going to go straight up and screw that in. So that 
should be pretty darn simple so I don't lose that placement. Okay. Yeah, so now, oh, there, look at that. Clicky, clicky. And it's, it's stiff enough where it doesn't look like it's going to move a lot. So that's how my bracket was. So I'm not changing this at all. So that's pretty much already set in place. The key is keeping this in the same place. I'm going to take a, a knife and I'm going to cut my tape off my cord so I have a little bit more room to play with so I could actually come back and put that tape back on where I need it to be. So Jerry said it takes about 20 minutes from start to finish. I'm going to take one little piece of this tape. I'm just going to mark right there where my bracket was already at because I really like that placement of my bracket. And make sure you always keep all your parts because you just never know if you need them or things change. So we got the little grippy pads here. So now it comes down to this bracket. Set up right where I want it. It's going to be right line there. So let's uh, back these off. All right, so we're going to mount our bracket. Bracket goes like here, but you got your plastic gasket. This helps with the compression and the tightness, so you don't have to go super crazy. Hey, guys, real quick, I just talked to the owner over there at Fish Obsessed. Um, this is a high-grade, you know, dialed-in plastic. So there are two types of plastic. The biggest thing with the way this is put together, do not use Loctite. You don't want to use any type of Loctite, especially on the transducer mount. It does not work well with this type of uh, high-end plastic. Um, the biggest thing is, is just making sure, just keeping, we all keep one of these in our boats anyways. If you don't, you should, because most, <laughs> most of our boats, there's something that's going to use an alloc key or a tool. Make sure you keep this in your boat. And just like, you know, regular maintenance, checking your prop for line and all this other stuff. You know, you want to go back through and just, you know, if you have to, you could tighten up things. But this is some really cool stuff. Um, I want to show you a trick real quick. So I'm going to put this. So this is going to mount on top of this, but you have your little plastic gasket, your, your rubber gasket. Here's what I usually do. Because I hate trying to get the top part on and then the bottom part gets all bound and messy. Little piece of painter's tape. And I'm going to bring it up exactly where I want it. And I'm going to just put a little piece of tape on it. That's it. And that keeps it, it's, it's not going to take up that much space, that little piece of tape. But it just keeps that rubber in position like I'm sitting there and I don't have to dork around with it. Okay, so... Other key is you want to make sure your bracket comes down. So this is exactly where I want it at. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the bracket around. And I'm going to get my other part. And I'm going to set it right exactly where I need it. And then I'm going to take my Allen wrench and start locking these down. Now, when you... Go to lock these down. You just want to make sure you don't get crazy over tight. Um, they're talking about like two and a half pounds, uh, you know, of, of pressure. Don't get a big wrench. Just use your Allen wrench. You want to lock down your bolts. Get them nice and snug. Make sure you work it just like a car tire. Go left, right, crossword, diagonal. You just want everything to sit right um, and mount right on your, your shaft, your trolling motor shaft. So I'm just getting this semi-snug. I'm not getting it really cranked down because i got to turn around and get this back in position. Now, you might have to drop your trolling motor down out of your, your cradle to get an angle to tighten up these bolts the right way. But as you can see, 
pretty much I have it set up. I could take the little piece of electrical tape off. That was my mark because that's exactly where I want my transducer to be set at. And now you could actually literally rotate this in position to where you want it before you start snugging it up. So I want it perfectly horizontal in line with the, the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Allen and I'm going to tighten these up snug. And once I get them snug, I'm going to do about a, an extra quarter inch turn on them. So this is going to take a second. So let me fast forward it real quick. These nuts. So what, I, what I've done is I've tightened them up with the short end of the arm. Once you get them really nice and snug, I'll turn it around and I do about a quarter of a turn to half a turn just to finish off that part. And we are rocking and rolling there. Okay, before you put this bracket on, that nut with the sleeve on there, just make sure it you'll, you'll feel it seat. Okay, so you're gonna tighten that up. And with the washer, the way I have it set, it, it just locks in tight. So that, that way you know that's locked in tight. Then we're gonna sit here and we're going to make this real simple. We're going to put the bracket up like this. You're going to take your backing bracket, goes right over the top. You want to start each one of your threads. And then what you want to do, you want to start them and then just work them in a di diagonal, corner to corner, left to right, top to bottom. And this way, you know that bracket is seen right. So we're going to do this real quick. I'm just going to Get that going down nice there. Come across at an angle. So that way you got kind of a thing. It's a semi-snug. This should be able to rotate around. This way you know if you have to get any more line. But man, how slick is that? Forward facing down just by moving it like that. That is cool. I'm going to get everything in line and then I'm just going to tighten it up and then we'll work through the mechanics of the, the moving it left, right, and forward. Guys, this is a super easy swap out. And uh, like I said, you just want to hand tight. You don't want to over tight all this stuff. Um, when you're talking precision, you know, milling and everything else with the, the quality of what they're, they're sending you, um, don't overthink it. I'm just uh, tightening up. And then, like I said, once I'm on the water after a day or so, I'll come back and I'll just double check to make sure everything's tight and, you know, put together right. Okay, we finished out uh, just nice and stug on every, snug on everything. Hey, guys, you got to really look at this. So this is how I usually run my forward facing in this angle. Um, usually the brackets by Lowrance, they're kind of cattywampus and just, you can't really dial it in, especially for your boat. So this is at zero degrees, but if I wanted to adjust my forward facing, all you do is you take the bracket, the big arm, and it ratches, it ratchets down. So this way, if you're doing like, say you want to do the scout mode, you just take this, this bracket moves. You go into scout mode like this, and you could adjust like how far down so I'm going to go forward scout mode. I'm at a, an angle so I could fish and look at a deeper water. But if I'm in super shallow, I just bring this back up. I can see right across the surface. I can go right down subsurface just a little bit in front of me if I'm fishing a little bit shallower or deeper. And then I want to go back into my regular forward facing. I turn it like that. So this is... This is probably one of the, the bitchinest tools I've seen in a long time. Got to give a big shout out to uh, Gary over there in Florida for uh, setting me up with the guys over there at uh, Fish Obsessed. Make sure you check them out. You know, go to their website, fishobsessed.com. Fish, fish um, really reasonable product. And the next time you see me, I'm going to be out there testing it this year out on the water while I'm fishing. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I am really tickle pink, and like I said, just make sure afterwards, no Loctite. Just double check your uh, your nuts and everything when you get off the water like you're supposed to do anyways. And uh, I'm pretty excited. This is 
this is a really slick, nice, high quality uh, product. So got to give a shout out to them. Hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you guys check out the BBZ TV. We have a bunch of content. Uh, if you guys need information or help, um, you know, I'm always there for you. Like I said, this is going to be a great setup for my Lawrence. I got the Active 2 targets. And with my Motor Guide Tour, we are ready to rock and roll for the end of 2023 going into 2024. So hope you guys enjoy this, and we'll catch you next time. Out on the water.